Today kicks off part one of our epic three-part road trip through California. What's up, beautiful people? From the beaches of Southern California to the rugged beauty of the Northern coast, we've got a lot in store. But first, we're starting right here in San Diego. Today, we are in San Diego and we're over here selling, baby. Let's make sure we don't hit anybody. From selling across the bay to enjoying incredible food and watching breathtaking sunsets, we've got an adventure packed day ahead, so let's go! First stop, Costera. It's located at Harbor Island. Costera's got views that make you want to sit here all day long, seriously. But we got a lot to do, so let's dig in. Y'all, this is Baja Inspired Cuisine at its finest, my friends. After brunch, we're headed to one of San Diego's crown jewels, Balboa Park. This place is like stepping into a different world. Museums, gardens, and so much history all in one spot. And here we are at one of my favorite places, the San Diego Air and Space Museum. This place is packed with the coolest exhibits from early days of flight to modern space exploration. Let's check it out. Now we're at Balboa Park. The one cool thing about Balboa Park is that there's tons of museums around. And if you get the museum pass, you can check all of them out. We have the Comic-Con Museum over there. We have the Air and Space Museum behind us, the automotive one. And then if you keep going around without even having to get in a car, you can see so much. So let's go check out a couple of them. The Air and Space Museum is really, really cool. The one thing that I love so much about it is that there's airplanes here. We got spaceships and all. It's awesome that you can like bring your kids here. Just have a good time at it. Like this is a great way to spend an afternoon and if you want to see some more stuff, you can still do other things, but to be able to check this out for at least an hour or two is definitely high on my list. Wow, somebody literally would sit in that. They will put their, they'll lay down on their back, put their feet up, and just That's cool. You know, this museum is pretty fly, all puns intended. <laughs> And the best part, the San Diego Air and Space Museum is just one of the many spots to explore in this amazing park. You could easily spend the whole day here, or even dates. Before we jump back into our adventure, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Visit California. From the breathtaking Pacific coastlines to the towering redwoods and the bustling cities, California offers endless opportunities for explorations. But it's not just about having a great time, it's about traveling responsible. Visit California's Travel California Respects California campaign reminds us to take care of these beautiful places by respecting local guidelines, wildlife, and communities. Whether you're hiking in the mountains or soaking up the sun on the coast, Remember to leave no trace and respect their environment. You can find tips on how to be responsible travelers and sustainable travelers at visitcalifornia.com. So before you take your next California adventure, check out visitcalifornia.com for all the inspiration and information you need to make your trip unforgettable. So now let's get back to San Diego's adventures. Now it's time to hit the water. San Diego Sailing Tours is giving us a private tour on the bay, and trust me, the views from out here are next level. You cannot visit San Diego and not come out on the water. The feeling of freedom out here is just incredible. The sun, the views, the skyline, it's so much fun, and your boy is back out here once again sailing. Oh, yeah. We are moving. Engines are off, yeah, almost. So the main thing that I'm trying to do right now is keep us in the direction that we say we're gonna go. Never done this before. The one thing I love about this is like, it's like a, a puzzle and you're trying to like figure it out and then Try to use your instincts and everything like that to want pick up wind and and to do a few things and it's it's fun. It's like strategic, strategic 
is, is the key to this. And uh, the more you do it, I know the easier it becomes. And I can feel the wind on me. So it's like me trying to feel the wind and then trying to adjust accordingly too. This is definitely a great, great, great activity to do. And do y'all see these views? San Diego is a place where I feel like every time I come here, I'm like, I can move here. I can literally move here. And the, just the people's energy, like the, we just went to a restaurant and the staff and the, the people that were at the restaurant, everybody was just like lively compared to even other places that we've been to even here in California. But I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's because it's all this sunshine, all this sunshine and all of this beautiful, beautiful uh, skyline and water that you get that you don't get anywhere else. So this is such an awesome excursion. I recommend anyone doing it. Um, now we could have went to the front of the boat, relaxed out, chilled out a little bit. I don't feel like walking all the way up there, but I know a lot of my viewers like you We'll probably be like, ooh, I want to be in the front. I want to have my whole Titanic moment. I ain't trying to do that right now, but this is a lot of fun. And make sure y'all check out San Diego Sailing Tours. I'll leave the description in below. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button because we're trying to get to 250,000 subscribers uh, within the uh, year of 2025. So y'all can help us get there. Like, share, send this out to people. That was awesome. First day here in San Diego, definitely great. And being able to get out here on the water, it felt like I didn't skip a beat when it comes down to the last time I got to sail. <sighs> Let's go on to the next adventure. Let's go. I think I'm a little hungry. After a day full of adventure, we're wrapping things up with one of San Diego's hottest new spots, the Pony Boy. Let's see what these three Michelin star chefs have cooked up. I don't know what's better, the atmosphere or the food. This is where you come for an unforgettable dinner experience. All right, so now we're gonna try the beef stroganoff. This looks incredible. Let's do it. This restaurant keeps just changing my life right now. And we're ending the day with something truly iconic. Watching the sunset at Sunset Cliffs. I mean, just look at these views. There's something about a sunset that makes you want to stop and appreciate everything, you know? San Diego, you've been incredible. My time here in San Diego has been fantastic. Being able to just see the beauty, the sheer beauty of this place. When I tell you the weather is perfect, the sun's always out. And I mean, I'm just telling you, like, it really feels like a piece of heaven and is one of the biggest gems here in America. I can't explain how amazing and beautiful uh, this place truly is. I mean, just to be honest, like, I keep always telling myself, like, I have to move here. Like, one day I might move here. I should move here. One day y'all might see it, that Jeff Jenkins lives in San Diego. You never know. But I can definitely say that I've enjoyed my time and you will too. Check out our latest video on Ventura and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as we try to get to 250,000 subscribers in 2025. With your help, we can do it. I truly believe in us. Let's do it, y'all. Come on, travel with me some more, baby. Let's go. Make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned for part two as we continue the epic adventure through the Golden State. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. And if you haven't seen why you should visit Vermont. I have a video right here that's telling you multiple reasons why you should visit Burlington, Vermont. I'll see you in the next video.